It is finally that time of year again and today we made trifle. This is definitely something that takes me back to home. It is something that we have for dessert for Christmas. It is a traditional trifle and whether you are celebrating with your family or you're celebrating with your loved one, like this year Dav and I are celebrating by ourselves, I decided to make trifle anyways, even though it wasn't in a beautiful trifle bowl, but in Sunday glasses. So here's my take on a traditional trifle. You will need some sort of pound cake or Madeira cake and you're going to layer that down first in your bowl or in your glasses, whatever you want to use. You're going to need tin peaches or you could use fresh peaches and you could use a syrup of your choice. You can make one, but this is absolutely convenient. So first things first is you're going to soak up the Madeira cake, which is what I decided to use. Uh, with some of the syrup and then you want to go in with some of the peaches you can use tin peaches you can use regular peaches um, fresh peaches thereafter you're going to use jelly of your choice traditionally it's nice to jazz it up with two different types of jelly but because i'll be keeping it simple this year i decided to use the regular raspberry flavor generally i like to use raspberry and green apple and then you want to use a custard of your choice. You can make homemade custard or you could use store-bought custard. And usually we use Ultramel, but given the fact that it is Christmas, I decided to splurge on some fresh custard that Willie's makes. And then we're going to repeat the process. So you'll go in with your cake of choice. Like I said, you can use pound cake, you can use Madeira cake, whatever cake you would like. There's different variations of trifle, but like I said, this is the traditional trifle and I'm sticking to it. And so you're going to soak the sponge cake up with some syrup and you're going to repeat the process again by adding in your tin peaches or fresh peaches or whatever fruit you would like. And thereafter, you're going to go in with your second layer of jelly. At this point, if you would like to jazz it up, like I said, and add in a second color, you can. But because I just made two glasses of trifle, I decided to stick to one color. And then lastly, you're going to top that off with your last layer of custard and so when that's done uh, when you're done with the last bit of custard you're going to use some sort of cream so it could be whipped cream it could use it could be regular cream i decided to just whip up you know old-fashioned regular cream i know my aunt really loves to use tin cream as well because it is really nice and rich and so once that's done like you can see it's nicely set i'm going to just add a dollop of cream on each one now you can also add cream in between the different layers but I just decided to add it on the top which is what most people decide to do and basically what you want to do is just spread it out and even it out so that it is really nicely spread all over the glass or if you're using a deep dish you can certainly be generous enough to go all around the bowl as well and then for toppings it's completely up to you you could leave it plain i decided to go with some chocolate shavings and i also decided to go in with some walnuts which is very traditional especially around the christmas time but it is completely up to you you can use chocolate you can use mint chocolate you can use almonds you can use pecans you can use walnuts it's completely up to you so i decided to use walnuts and yeah that's it a traditional take on trifle this is something that i wish i had more of every single year but it is definitely something that screams home that screams christmas that screams festivities and yeah you have it, a traditional south african trifle i hope you enjoy it merry christmas guys mm -hmm.